Well, it looks like they're just desperate for us to succeed. Let's begin. The article says that the government today announced £16 million in funding to support smart charging technologies such as smart charging lampposts and projects to integrate domestic appliances into smart energy systems. Drivers of electric vehicles could save up to £1,000 per year off their electricity bills while helping to lower overall electricity costs as the UK looks to unlock the potential of smart charging. This is the promise of the government and Ofgem's newly published Electric Vehicle Smart Charging Action plan which aims to see the versatile approach to topping up vehicle batteries the preferred method for long distance charging by 2025. Smart charging works by using energy use data and the latest technical innovations to allow drivers to recharge their electric vehicles when electricity is cheaper or cleaner. It will also power their home on the electricity stored in their car at times when the grid prices are higher. In a similar fashion though, drivers could say even sell their electricity from their vehicles back to the grid such as peak times to make a small profit to offset against their overall electricity bill. And according to the government, dependent on the tariff, mileage and charging patterns, smart charging could save an average driver around £200 per year and high mileage drivers up to £1,000 on an annual basis. So hang on, the government thinks that they've got it all figured out, don't they, with their new £16 million funding for new smart charging technologies? Well, I've got news for them because if they think that by installing smart charging lampposts and integrating domestic appliances into smart energy systems, they can convince us all to switch to electric vehicles, they've got another thing coming because as someone who doesn't even own an EV, this announcement doesn't exactly have me run into the nearest dealership. I mean, for starters, they've got rid of the EV grant a few years ago haven't they and they're gonna to have to make EV drivers pay road tax from 2025 and diesel is apparently cheaper to run oh and of course let's not forget about the rising electricity prices and the fact that it takes forever to recharge but you know sure okay let's just stick a smart charge and lamppost on every street corner and call it a day I mean you know I'm all for saving money on my energy bill of course especially at the moment but a thousand pounds a year is not going to make me want to buy an electric vehicle especially when they're often a lot more expensive than their petrol equivalent and the idea of selling electricity back to the grid at peak times to make a bit of money sounds great in theory but I'm pretty sure that the government will find a way to take a cut of their profit themselves. And then again, that could actually be an inconvenience in itself, couldn't it? Because presumably, you know, you've then got to recharge your electric car again when you need it. So is that really worth saving a few quid, especially if you're in a hurry for work? I'm just not too sure about that. It's like they're trying to make electric cars sound like a good idea, but they've just gone about it all the wrong way. It's kind of like trying to sell a gym membership to a couch potato. It's just not going to happen, is it? In the winter, for example, demand for electric vehicle chargers tends to peak and become more expensive from 4pm to 9pm. Better balancing and supply and demand such as by staggering the times at which electric cars can be charged can reduce prices for customers across the network and not just electric vehicle drivers. Power management firm Eaton UK and Ireland's managing director So Boom Him Michael, I pronounced that right, I don't think I did, said the grid could handle more renewable energy from assets such as commercial wind farms if it were able to pay homeowners to take energy into EV batteries via bi-directional chargers and dispatch it back to the grid to meet peak energy demand. But of course this video makes me question if they're actually thinking straight in the first place because they're making these everyday items illegal. Anyway, subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.